Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and I am here with a very important announcement. Namely, our tigers have escaped! We have tigers on the loose! What kind of zoo are we running here where we actually have tigers that are breaking out of their exhibits? Oh dear. So hello everyone and welcome back and I'm a little bit concerned about how the heck- William! William, you were supposed to be keeping the tigers inside of their beautiful exhibit that we made for them oh so long ago. But instead, instead we have a couple of our white tigers currently roaming around the zoo grounds. That is not how we make the area safe for guests, Lily. Alright, Lily, Tate, you two stay up here. Uh, Tate, here, you go ahead and have this raw fish that you fished from the sky when it was raining a second ago. Lily, you stay. Oh, there's a whole bunch of mushrooms here. No, Siri, now's not the time to be distracted by mushrooms. But we're going to go down and we are going to go catch the two loose white tigers that we actually have wandering around. And then we are going to see how on earth it is that they escaped from their exhibit. All right, in goes one tiger. Are you guys named even? Barite, get back inside. All right, so we have Barite and Barite's clone. And we had we had an escape you guys. Oh, if this was if this was like when we had guests roaming all over the place Who knows what kind of chaos could have started having tigers just running around the zoo? That is not a good establishment to run So today we are definitely going to need to see what on earth happened that made it so that the tigers were able to escape and I am I have to admit Unfortunately, I have my suspicions, and my suspicions are my beloved leaves and greenery. I think that they wiggled out through this tree by climbing up by climbing up the vines. All right, ma'am, I have to get inside the exhibit right now, okay? All right, let's wiggle through here. I mean, we have made such a really, really good exhibit for these tigers. We worked very hard at making sure the security would be really safe for all of our guests as far as how tall the walls are and the perimeter of it. But it looks like these vines have grown down far enough that the tigers are able to get their paws into it. And even though tigers are huge, the biggest of the big catch species actually, it seems like they managed to get them their claws into the wood and climb their way straight out. So this is my suspicion of how we managed to get Barite and Barite's clone out of the exhibit. But this also raises another great question because we're not supposed to have four tigers in this exhibit. It is not big enough for four tigers. I designed it for one. Somehow we ended up with two. One of them actually literally walked into the exhibit from the treetops before we cleared away more of the jungle. And now we appear to have four. So I'm going to say that our tiger have had babies. So we have Amber and Amber's clone, who will, who will just consider like Amber the second. And then Barite and Barite the second. Uh, Barite's clone, in other words. And you guys, what are we going to do with all of these extra tigers? I didn't plan on breeding them even through the cloning glitch that we have had ever since the very beginning of the zoo. That is why uh, we have Lily and Tate after all. Tate is Lily's clone, if you guys remember, right? Oh my goodness. So what should we do? Part of me is wondering if we should go ahead and extend the tiger exhibit. Should we expand the exhibit so they have like a, maybe like an archway that they can walk over or a tunnel would be really nice. What do you guys think about making a tunnel that will go under the path that we have for the guest and then giving the tigers another big exhibit area over here. And don't worry, that's not a tiger. That's just the teleporter. I haven't changed it to have a stone texture yet. So don't worry, that's not, that's not a real tiger. But should we give them another big exhibit over here and really Whee! hi amber i didn't mean to just fall from the sky right on top of you sorry about that let me put the two bar rights in here and then while we're in here before we start talking about expanding the uh the exhibit i should probably take care of the vines that allowed them to escape let's see if i have some shears i do have some iron ingots at least uh maybe i should put on my I'm kind of feeling like I should put on my leafy armor, which allows me to seem like I am a, a little bit in stealth. Now they'll never see me. They'll never see me. Amber, clearly that is how they were getting out because Amber's already trying to wiggle up these vines. So let me go ahead and clear this away. And so we need to make it so these vines are not going to grow up the tree. And allow, here's another good spot for tiger escapees. I think I'm gonna have to remove all the vines from the bottom here. 
And that should definitely help out. There we go. And we can save the vines to decorate with in other places. But everywhere else, we've worked really hard to make sure that the placing of the blocks and that the leaves are tall enough, the leaves, the leaves are tall enough in order to keep the tigers safely inside. Um, I guess, I mean, they can't go anywhere if they climb these vines, can they? All right, let's see. All right, they could kind of come up here, but there's nowhere to go from there. They could even come over here. Oh dear, they could get right back out. Oh my goodness, all right. You know what we need? We need some string. We need some good old string and we can actually put the string under the vines and that will keep the tigers from wiggling on out. And thankfully I happen to have some string in my pack. So if we put string right here, then what will happen is we can still have those pretty vines on display, but they will no longer grow far enough down to the ground that the tigers will wiggle their way right out. And then I'm gonna come over here and we can actually do the opposite as well. So you can see I have string right here to prevent the vines from growing down. So I guess the vines will actually grow around the side if you give them enough time too. So let's put another piece of string right there to prevent that. Uh -huh. Here we go, another tiger escapee spot. Overgrowth in the jungle has created some chaos. Of course it would, because I love leaves and I leave them everywhere. <laughs> I leaf them everywhere. Oh dear, Siri, that was really, I mean, I'm, I'm even dressed in leaves. What can I say? I'm like a walking pun right now. Oh my gosh. Oh goodness. And I need more string, it seems. But yeah, we'll want to go ahead and remove. Yeah, it's safe on this side. You can see where we have doubled up string to keep them from escaping on this side. But even if I just remove like these pieces, and then put string under them. That will keep them from escaping over here. The vines that grow down from the leaves don't matter because you can't climb them. So now I just need to get my hands on some more string to secure the area. But that still leaves us with the question of what to do with four tigers. Tigers are very, very solitary. They don't like to be in big groups. They really like to be on their own unless like a mother tiger is raising her young for the, the two years or so that she'll take good care of them. Or tigers come together during the breeding season where the male will have a huge territory that overlaps with the females areas, often multiple females. So this is way too many tigers for one exhibit. So I wonder, what do you guys think? Hi, Ember. What do you guys think about either expanding, oh, there's a piece of string, wonderful, I needed that. Expanding the exhibit so that it'll come over on this side as well, and we can turn this whole area into a big tiger exhibit. Or what about building another tiger exhibit? These tigers represent the South Chinese tigers, but there are nine species of tigers, two of whom are actually extinct, several of whom are endangered and threatened. And we could, with a little bit of um, changing of the words on the sign magic, use the same kind of tiger model in order to represent multiple species of tiger. A lot of people don't even know that there are multiple species of tiger out there, or the fact that there are so many threatened tigers, or the fact that we have already driven a couple of those subspecies to extinction. So I think it'd be interesting to have more exhibits in our jungle or throughout the other parts of our zoo, mostly in the jungle though, because that's where you're gonna find tigers, that could represent multiple species of tigers so that we weren't just focused on the South Chinese tiger. But on the flip side of that, we do already have a tiger exhibit and we don't have a lot of other types of exhibits. And we have a lot of animals on ice already in our stasis chamber trapped inside of safari nets, just waiting, waiting for the day when we will be able to build them an exhibit. So I don't know if we need to double up on tiger exhibits just yet, but I do think it'd be educational. So there's an option or I have to admit, this is my favorite option, creating a national park in a jungle. What do you guys think about that? You guys know I'm really, really, really excited about our Red Wolf National Park that we are gonna be working on when I have some more time. Oh gosh, what on earth happened over here? Who knows? I'll have to ask Ben about that. Oh my goodness. Um, but our Red Wolf National Park should be somewhere around here. I have to remember, let me see. Red Wolf, Red Wolf, camping, camping. Dino Academy campsite, there it is. All right, let's go ahead, turn it on. 
and our aha here it is so our campsite is actually right over here and this is where we are building the red wolf national park i really really like this area it's going to be really fun and it's also going to be where we release our red wolves from our red wolf exhibit now that they are old enough to live on their own they've had time to live with their parents they've learned hunting skills they're ready to go out into the wild and populate a national park and so we could make this into our national red wolf park but what if we take the extra lion lions oh my goodness it's because they're roaring in the background what if we take the extra tigers oh i'm so embarrassed i said lions and we find an unoccupied jungle and we turn that jungle into a national park as well that would be really fun i think to be able to go and mark off an area say that it is a national park and then turn it into like a, a wild tiger sanctuary so i think that would be really fun too i'm gonna let you guys have a little vote and we'll figure out what we need to do but regardless of any of those other options i'm actually thinking it'd be really nice to expand the tiger exhibit no matter what so i'm thinking we'll expand it if not now because i have i have plenty of work to do in the safari zone then that'll be on our list of things to do oh look you can see our red pandas walking around over there oh they're so cute i love them so much but I think it'd be fun to have like a, a national park that's going to be a jungle biome and to really release the animals that we breed, raise, recover, repair, uh, rescue in our zoo and release them in the national jungle park. So that's amongst my plans. But for now, let's just complete uh, the little project we have with keeping the tigers where they belong. Let's see if I have enough string inside of my zookeeper station. Oh, and let me turn off my little campsite marker. There we go. Whew. All right, so the worst of the the danger has passed and now I just need to make sure my tigers stay in there So do I have any string? Here's a bunch of my ivy I guess I could leave my soybeans in here just cuz who knows maybe I'll be able to use those in the future I don't have any string over here But I do have some tiger swings and rope that we used to decorate the tiger area. What about appetites? What if I gather up epitites instead of string? Oh, that's a smart, clever way to stop that growth and also decorate. Let's check this out, guys. All right, I'm gonna try this out. I don't think I've ever tried to use epitites as a way to prevent vines from growing. All right, but I think it'd work because we would just have to stick that right there. And as long as the tigers don't, um, don't have the vines growing down, then they can't get out, which is a good thing because they would be a danger to our zoo guest and thus possibly a danger to themselves. All right, let me just go ahead and clear this away. And then I can put my piece of string right here so the vines won't grow there. How fun! I never thought about using epitites, which are plants that grow on the sides of trees, in case you guys are like, what the heck's an epitite? They're some of my favorite plants in the world because I find them so fascinating. But I never thought about using them like string to kind of block the vine growth. That's awesome! All right, so that's taken care of. This area is taken care of. We have gotten all of our tigers back where they belong, even though we're still back at the problem of what to do with them. Uh, can they get out over here? So much vine growth, oh my gosh. Nah, they just would come up along this side. Can they get out over here? Um, If they gave it a lot of effort, they could get out over here. But I think if I just trim back this tree, like a teeny bit, then it'll be okay. Like here and here. And yeah, now I think that no matter what they did, they wouldn't be able to wiggle their way out. And I can even put this leaf up there. Yeah, that should do it. Wonderful, all right. So we have repaired the area. That will keep both our tigers and our zoo guests safe. We will figure out what to do with our tigers. Emergency crisis averted. They have their little spot down here. This is actually a nice little location where they can come and eat off of this meat that I think Ben left in here for them and hide inside of a little den uh, that the female can enjoy because they do have dens when they have their, their tiger cubs. But yeah, we've got too many tigers. Got to figure out what to do with them. All right, so that project is now done. <laughs> have to figure out what to do with the tigers, but I'll let you guys vote on it and then we'll figure out how we're going to improve it. I really need to install some automatic door closing mechanisms to make sure I don't just leave the South Chinese tiger exhibit wide open. And we'll... You and I need to have a good talk about making sure that this doesn't happen again. So we'll, we're gonna we're gonna discuss this, William. You're not supposed to let the tigers out. That's just that's just dangerous for everybody involved. <laughs> All right, so that's done. Thank goodness. I'm gonna drink a little orange juice and get Lily and Tate. Oh, it's so beautiful. 
And then we're going to continue on back towards the safari zone because we have a lot of work to do over there. I've got the iron that we needed and I need to kind of remember. Oh yeah, we need to start putting all the wild horses and the sheep, liar birds, boars, the bear. We need to give all those guys a good spot to go. Here's some more appetites. I'll have to remember to use those as blockades for vines from now on. That's a clever thing to do. Ah, and just a lot to do. A lot to do in the zoo as usual, but I'm looking forward to it. All right, let's get the puppies. And then we're going to head back over to the safari zone. It is night, so that'll also give me a good chance to see where we need to light things up. Oh, are you guys okay? Lily, Tate, Lily. Oh, why? Lily. Lily, get out of the tiger exhibit. Lily, teleport to me now. <laughs> Lily. Come on, girl. Come on, Lily. Okay, there she goes. Good girl, Lily. And now we got your dog food too, didn't we? Yay! So we covered all the bases of why I needed to come. That's right, Lily. Yay! Of why we needed to come back home. Oh, wait. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? How are there more tigers? What do you mean there's more tigers on the loose? What? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's a loose tiger on this pet. What are you doing? Another amber? Oh my goodness. There's tigers everywhere. There are just tigers all over the place. Are there tigers down here? Are there tigers over here? Whoa. Oh my gosh. All right, little shrubadoo. Are there tigers in here? Like inside of my fish exhibit? Are there tigers in my hummingbird exhibit? This isn't good. This is like stage five red alert news. I would I would so get fired for this if this was a real zoo. Oh my gosh, this is just this is just a travesty. All right, let's keep going. I guess I need to search a little bit more for tigers. Oh, oh, it's just it's just a deer. Oh, oh my gosh, I was gonna panic if that was yet another tiger. William, what are you doing? You and I are going to have a big talk, William. Okay, did a tiger wiggle his way down in here? No, but there's this beautiful zebra ore. <gasps> Ooh, I should keep some of that. We're going to grab some of this zebra ore really quickly. Now may not be the most opportune time, but I mean, look at it. This is really awesome. What can we do with this? You can turn it into a zebra block. Um, let's see. And then you can turn it into slabs. Basically... I think it would be really useful to be able to use back over in our safari zone as a decorative piece. So I'm going to just gently tuck that in my pocket. My goodness. Let's see. Anything else over here? Any tigers wiggling by? No. Just leads back up. This just loops back around to this path. I have it blocked off right now because I haven't finished uh, building this area. Oh man, there's so much to do. On top of just like gathering up tigers that start to escape and break loose. All right. Good, and dawn is breaking. Whew. All right, I think that's the last one. There's the deer. There's another deer, and it's a little fawn. Okay, okay. Please tell me I've gathered up the last of the, the tigers that are loose. Lily, Tate, can you guys like sniff out tigers? This is just the teleporter, so I don't need to worry there. <gasps> I should check inside the red panda exhibit. Oh, I hope everybody's okay. Oh gosh, I forgot how awesome these windows are. All right, everybody's okay in the red panda exhibit. I wonder if I should put windows like these in over by the giraffe area. That would be fantastic. I think this would look really nice so people could see straight through at our awesome giraffes. So maybe I'll do that. All right. And looks like everything's okay over here. Now, one of the big projects I want to work on for the summer is actually building Agent Noodle's Noodle Doodle Noodle Shop. It is about time that we build the Asian Noodle Shop. And we are going to be building it because I'm actually going to be having a lot of noodles this summer since I will be spending the entire summer in Taiwan. Which is going to be... When did that slime island get there? I'm going to have to look over that. But this is going to be really fun. So this is another project we're going to be doing pretty soon. But security measures to keep the tigers inside are definitely on the top of my list but one last glance around I truly think we have managed to find all of them all right thank goodness thank goodness all right good I'm gonna replace this last tiger in there but now we really have way too many tigers and I would love to know what you guys think we should do maybe all of the above we have so many tigers we could release some into a like jungle jungle park of some kind a national jungle park we could open up this area and turn it into another tiger exhibit like this one you're kind of looking at them from the side so what about if we changed it so you're looking at them like down in a big pit 
uh, perhaps. So, or we could just like make it so there's a tunnel. Hmm, there's a lot of options. So yeah, if you guys have ideas for what we should do with expanding the tiger exhibit, I definitely want to do that. But should we hold off on having additional tiger exhibits to represent, like this is the South Chinese tiger, there's also the Siberian tiger, Bengal tiger, Bali tiger, uh, the extinct Caspian tiger, or the Sumatran tiger, the extinct Javian tiger, Indo-Chinese tiger. <gasps> yeah, there's a lot of tigers. So should we expand the tiger exhibits or just focus on releasing some of these ones to the wild because there's definitely too many tigers at the moment way too many tigers lily and tate what have we done all right but enough of this and let's go ahead i'm going to start wiggling towards the oh there's a mushroom i'm going to start wiggling towards the safari zone because we have so many projects and I just love running around and the daily life here in Zudesia is always so diverse. But I definitely want to get some things done. So we're going to head back to Zudesia. We're going to make sure that we are completing some of the projects over there. Making progress and getting some of the new animals added in. And um, somebody did a really good job at reminding me that I've been talking and talking about... Whoops, what the heck? Tate, watch your step. There's a bridge here for a reason, Tate. Oh my goodness, but somebody did a really good job of reminding me of the little fact that uh, if we're building a safari savanna zone Then we definitely need to think about adding in some of the zebra I don't know how I forgot about zebra But adding in zebra is definitely something we need to do for our zoo as well. And was that another stray capybara? I found you! I found you, little guy! And I definitely need to make a capybara exhibit for all of these loose capybara as well. We're not supposed to be that kind of interactive walk around zoo where the animals are just running loose, even though it might en endanger their own lives. But, huh. all right, we made it back. We have dog food. We have the material to make dog food bowls. We have the material to make beds. It looks like Farmer Gerald's warthog has gotten loose. I should probably go and catch that. And we're gonna continue work on the safari zone, including fixing that sign very soon. And I think that we're pretty much good to go with a lot of the work we have to do inside the zone. So now we just need to walk around, make sure that that entire perimeter is safe for the animals to go in, fill in any of the tar and stuff like that, remove the domesticated animals and start replacing it with all of the awesome warthogs, zebra, ostrich, elephants, giraffes, and so much more. <sighs> all right. Tiger, terrible tiger times chaos is now over and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.